Hello again, minions. Wheezy here with another weekly wrap up. We're going to go over what you missed on the channel this week, and we're going to talk about the impending Battlefield release teaser, which is in June. Let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, let's get right into it. The first video posted to the channel this week was kind of a spur of the moment thing and ended up being kind of hilariously awesome um, on, I think it was, oh, it was on the PlayStation, I think. So like the PlayStation Plus free game for this month or something like that was Wreckfest, which is like just a modern destruction derby uh, game. And some of the game modes were like, destruction derby with like rideable lawnmowers and like sofa racing in addition to just racing and crashing cars so it was a lot of fun <laughs> i had a little too much fun playing it and here's a clip from that video wait for it oh <laughs> yeah you ain't got nothing on me gary take your shitty firebird home gary come back gary I'm gonna fuck your sister! Yeah, you heard me. She's gonna like it. She's gonna be all about it! There you are. Gary, you motherfucker! Ah, shit. That's not good. Gary fucked me. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. This is not gonna. Oh. We're. Oh, God, Gary. Gary, please, I'm sorry. Gary, I'm sorry for all the awful things I said. Please. Not like this, Gary. Oh, God. Get out of my way, Miss Lady. Fuck me. Oh, I'm boned. I'm so boned. Oh, I've been hoisted on my own petard. Gary won the race. That son of a bitch. I'm still gonna fuck his sister. Oh. So go and check that video out for just... A ridiculously silly good time and fucking Gary <laughs> um, after that I posted a video on the fastest way to unlock the carve 2 tactical rifle in Cold War the mid-season weapon released in Call of Duty Cold War and surprisingly once again <laughs> the fastest way legitimately to unlock this is in zombies so I broke down the fastest way to do it fun way to do it without doing the multiplayer grind so here's a clip from that video but a more efficient and faster way to do this is going to be to activate your objective and that will cause waves of zombies to spawn in during the objective. This is a defend, so it's like three minutes of zombies just rushing the defend station. Um, I, avoid, I tried not to shoot the HBT and I figured, hey, maybe I can just slowly kite him around the map as the zombies spawn infinitely. But what I did learn is that unfortunately after a little while, <laughs> the HBT will just start sprinting at you. He will aggro to you. Uh, and not let you just kite zombies around endlessly, um, and you'll actually have to <laughs> to move him through his stages to defeat him. But uh, yeah, I think it's these last two. And then while it's processing that slaughter metal, it's like, oh, uh, oh, by the way, you've unlocked the carve too. So I think at that point, you know, infill to that moment was about 43 minutes of total gameplay, and not doing it the absolute most efficient way possible. Okay, so go check that out to unlock the Carve 2. After that, I started the series that I talked about a, a week ago. Um, I am playing Returnal, the PlayStation 5 exclusive, what is it called, roguelike, roguelite game. Shoot, you shoot stuff and you die, and it's the game. So I started a story time on that on my story time channel. Um, I've got the first episode of that already posted. I'm, I've got the second episode uploaded i need to just create a thumbnail and make it live so i'll probably do that uh very soon probably before i'm done uploading this video um and so i cut up a video for this channel that was clips from the first two episodes of returnal from Storytime and uploaded to this channel so here is much like last week here's a clip of a video that's clips of a video on Storytime. returnal I'm gonna try not to die. Oh, shiznit! That hurt. Oh, God. 
I am in trouble. Oh god. That... That happened fast. Xenotech device for recycling materials. I mean, might as well. What are they gonna do, kill me? Discovered a broken automaton. Oh, it's a robot, Clutching. okay. A dildo, it's a robot, it's a robot dildo. It's a lightsaber. It's a robot lightsaber dildo. Shit! I mean, oh, wow. Oh man. That is just a gorgeous game and it has been surprisingly fun to play. So uh, expect to see more of that over on Storytime. Um, not necessarily get much of a reaction for my Storytime videos here on this channel. So you can expect limited coverage of that stuff here. So keep an eye on my weekly wrap ups for more information about Storytime. Go sub to that channel if that's something you're interested in. Um, but it's kind of got a life of its own. I'm not gonna like let it infiltrate or take over. Wheezy's Gaming. In that same vein, a new episode of Wheezy's FPS War College just went live as I'm recording it this morning on Friday. So Situational Awareness 101, the second major module in my uh, reboot, reimagining of Wheezy's FPS Weezy's FPS War College is now live. So here is a clip from that. So we're gonna go through and give some examples of the awareness cycle. First, we will give a general gameplay example of the awareness cycle, and then we will break it down into what I call macro and micro examples of situational awareness. What do we wanna do in order to increase our chances of winning the game? We wanna make sure that we hold these points because that will create a line like this that we control our four points to their three and these three points are actually very close together as i come around this van here i can look and see if they're coming up the street if that's clear i'm going to move across towards this building uh, and start moving up the edge of the map but immediately i hear footsteps beside me and a guy that i didn't expect close to me i take shots i do not get the kill so now we're, again, we're dealing with one-on-one -on -one engagements. I got a guy here, you know, moving roughly that direction, but we can't be entirely sure. So I can either chase him, in which case he knows that I'm that I'm looking for him, so he could turn around and engage me as I come through that door, or kind of reverse this flank that I did earlier and see if either he hunkers down in here and I can just be at an unexpected position, or if he continues through that direction, maybe I can get cover here and engage him uh, from a position of advantage. So you guys definitely want to go check out all of my Wheezy's War College videos, including my, you know, three episodes from over five years ago. There's just, they're just jam-packed with general FPS knowledge. If you're an FPS gamer, I'm just telling you, you need to listen to the old man <laughs> and and get better. Go watch those videos. This, this situational awareness video is is significantly longer than I anticipated because the bulk of the video at the second half of it is breaking down gameplays to explain how situational awareness applies with specific examples and I'm gonna be putting out you know supplemental videos in the future shorter clips of stuff like that to kind of break down those individual situations um, but these are the larger module pieces which is the kind of coursework for Weezy, Weezy's FPS War College so definitely go check that out so let's talk about the Battlefield 6, not Battlefield 6, probably just gonna be called Battlefield news that came out this week, which is that they have, they're not saying they pushed the reveal to June, they're saying the reveal is in June, although rumors were very, very high that it was going to be a early May reveal for Battlefield. So anyway, the official Battlefield channels are now saying that the full reveal is going to be coming in June. Then there is the EA virtual event in July where you will get more information. So Battlefield's coming, but we're going to have to wait another month to really kind of see anything for it. Although, I mean, these are the corporate guys, right? The ones talking to the people who are invested in the company, but they're saying it's amazing. It'll kind of blow us away. The devs have said that the new Battlefield game is kind of a love letter to fans. So I have really high hopes with the essentially impending 
Call of Duty World War II game this year. I really need a new modern shooter to grasp onto. Um, Cold War is just kind of trash. <laughs> modern Warfare 2019 still holds up. I'm still loving that game. I'm still excited for hopefully an Infinity Ward sequel to that next year. But this year, all of my hopes are hanging on the new Battlefield game. Unless some other modern FPS game comes out of nowhere to kind of grab my attention. Not necessarily holding my breath for that one, but what do you guys think? Are you like so hyped for Battlefield? Are you disappointed that we're not going to hear about it for yet another month? And it's going to be a really kind of short marketing timeline for them from June to presumably October, November for release. So we're going to have a whole lot of nothing for Battlefield, and then hopefully we're going to just start seeing lots and lots of stuff. So expect more Battlefield coverage from me. Unless they decide to just crush my dreams and break my hopes. But yeah, let me know. Give me feedback on what's been posted to the channel this week. Uh, what you think about the new Battlefield game potentially getting announced. What you're looking forward to. What you're hanging your hopes on. And I'm going to keep this one short this week. And I will talk to you guys soon. But next week as well. <laughs> See ya.